essentially I'm gonna show you pretty much a kill switch without paying any money. YouTube this is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors bring you guys another video so apparently they're still stealing cars so I'm going to do a video to show you in five minutes how you can prevent someone from stealing your car if you're going to someone's house if you're at an apartment if you're going out of town and you're at a hotel in a not so safe area and you don't want your car stolen so i know you're thinking like i thought that our cars are all electronic how could they steal our cars these cars aren't built like the cars back in the days well apparently now they have this new signal interceptor and that's how they're taking cars they literally can go to your car and they literally can put this box on top of your car and intercept the signal and start your car now when they start the car it's going to say key not identified but like in my video before and it's going to be right here at the top it shows you that it doesn't matter if you have your key in your vehicle or not as long as you start it you can go wherever you want so that's an interesting video you guys might want to check out so with that being said all they have to do is start it and get it far enough to where they can do what they need to to your vehicle so a lot of people are trying so many different things to prevent their vehicles from being stolen and people are still stealing them and i know this seems weird but i just really want to protect everyone out there to invest into your cars and let you know that car theft is still very very much relevant and it's still here so what i'm going to do is show you how you can disable your car in literally five minutes to prevent anyone from stealing it some people may find this cheesy some people may not some people may find this helpful but i just really really want to help people and i don't want anyone to invest a lot into their vehicles get their car stripped down and someone take their vehicle away essentially i'm going to show you pretty much a kill switch without paying any money without further ado um let's get to it all right guys so the first thing you want to do to pretty much enable your car to where no one can take your car no one can program it reprogram it use any teethering boxes to um, automatically start your car is the following so you want to just basically come right over here you want to just come over to your fuse box panel all right so you so in audis we have this fuse box panel over here okay so you just go to your fuse box panel all right, so once you go to your fuse box panel, you're gonna come right over here to your fuses, okay? And like I said, this is if you guys are taking your car to an apartment, you're parking it, you're going on a plane, you're parking it in the airport, you're you're um, at somewhere unfamiliar, or you, you don't feel safe. Now that I have the actual fuse panel, and, and if you have another make and model car, it pretty much follows the same fuse. Generally, all of the fuses are gonna be the same fuse, but for Audis, it's gonna be verbatim what you see on this actual grid that I have right here. So as you can see, I'm going right to the fuse. Normally when you have fuse panels, it has the black fuse panel, it has the brown fuse panel right there, and then it has, uh, let's see, the red. And if you look over here, you have brown, you have black, you have brown, and you have red okay all right guys so the free kill switch the free kill switch and the magic fuse that's going to enable your car to where it does not start or turn over is going to be right over here number 16 so number 16 so stay with me this is going to be the fuses on the side so if we go over to number 16 right here number 16 is going to be the terminal 15 engine once again, that's the Terminal 15 engine. So if you have an Audi, all you have to do is locate Terminal 15 engine. And that's going to be the actual fuse that's going to enable your car from starting. And that's going to be your magic kill switch. No matter what program you put to it, no matter what system you use, no matter what depth system you use, your car will not start. So this is going to be the easiest and the quickest way to put a kill switch on your car to prevent death of your vehicle. Okay, so I'm gonna take out this fuse and I'm gonna show you what my car does 
then I'm gonna put the fuse back in to show you in real time that my car will start right back up. So I'm gonna go right over here. And as you can see, I'm going to one, two, three. So I'm following the board and I'm gonna pull this fuse out. So now that I pull this fuse out, and this is gonna be real time so you guys can see. I'm just gonna go right over here. I'm gonna use this one for the sake of my hand and I'm gonna press it. My car just won't do anything. So as you can see, I'm putting my foot on the brakes. So as you can see the brakes, foot on the brakes, right over here, foot still on the brakes. My car is just dead to the world. It, it just won't turn over, it won't start. So that's gonna be the fuse that's gonna make your car pretty much as a kill switch for your car. So I'm gonna put this fuse back in to show you guys. So as you can see, this is real time. Turn off my car, put the fuse back in, just like so. You can see, put that fuse right back in. All right, so now watch this. So now that I put that fuse back in, start right up. No issues with so yeah, so I'm just gonna turn off my car for the video. But as you can see, car started right up. So now I'm gonna turn it off. All right. Now a secondary fuse that you can use if you want it to, it's gonna be your fuel pump. You take the fuse out of your fuel pump, it won't supply the injectors in the fuel pump with fuel. So your car will, you know, it, it will start but it won't turn over. So you're gonna get the ch -ch 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 -ch, but it won't turn over. So that's just a secondary one. But I feel like the first one is just more efficient. It's, it's more seamless. You don't have to worry about, you know, running um, without fuel in your vehicle or have to go through that tedious process. But yeah, those are gonna be the two ways that you can um, put a kill switch to your car without paying the money. And there's a lot of ways where you can route wires to that to where you can make an on and off switch. You know, it's pretty much a power source to where you can enable the switch in your car, but you know, criminals are pretty smart. Unless you hide the button pretty well, then um, it defeats the purpose. But yeah, you can add a switch to that as well. So you don't need to spend a lot of money on all these kill switches or these systems. You can just simply take those fuses out and you'll be good to go. So I hope this helps. Um, I'm here to bring, you know, love and joy and enlightenment to my community. Um, I wanna thank all the new, old, and all the day one subscribers. This is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors. Peace, I'm out.